What's up, everybody? Anthony Olin here, and I am very excited because it is um, the week of San Diego Comic Con, and we got some new things that were shown to us for Marvel Spider Man 2. We got a new story trailer as well as some accessories that we'll be releasing in September. Now, if you don't want to be uh, minorly spoiled by certain things, don't watch the story trailer. I'm going to talk about them right now. If you don't want to be a little bit spoiled, just a tiny bit spoiled, don't watch the rest of this video, I guess. But we got a good look at some of the characters in this game, as well as, you know, one or two returning characters. Um, we got a new look at Mary Jane, uh, Miles Morales. They both look very different. Peter, of course, looks the, uh, the same as the remastered version of Peter. Not a lot of people's favorite version of Peter. They prefer the original PS4 version. Um, we got a look at Harry Osborn. We got a look at some parts of the city like the Brooklyn Bridge. And we got a little bit of a look at Venom as well. And also a returning character from the last game. We got a look at Martin Lee. And the graphics of this game just look so incredible. The characters look so much better. And not only did we get that um, story trailer, but they are releasing faceplates and a controller for the PS5. Not only that, but they are releasing a PS5 special edition bundle that will come with the faceplate and the controller as well as the uh, digital deluxe version of the game. Now, pre-orders are going to go live July 28th for those items and the accessories will be releasing September 1st and I guess the console will release when the game releases. I got to go back to the video and check that as well but this is very exciting because we now have another um, way to get the game if you don't have a ps5 and you want the game you can now get a special edition ps5 um, or you can just get a regular ps5 and buy the face plates later if they will be in stock probably won't be so you want to get them as quickly as you can i'm for sure going to pre-order mine as soon as it's available and you now have the standard edition you have the digital deluxe that's online you have the collector's edition from the PlayStation Store, which I don't really think is a good deal because you're really only paying for the digital copy of the game and the statue. Um, and you get a steel book, but you don't get a physical game. I like physical games, so that's what's unfortunate. But now you have the PS5 bundle, and of course you can buy the faceplates and the controller separately. I was a bit bummed out that God of War Ragnarok didn't get faceplates, and with this one, I do like what they're doing with it. I do not like it as much as I liked the PS4 Pro. If you know anything about me and my channel, I used to have that PS4 Pro when it released and I had to get rid of it a little while ago due to not working at the time. Um, but I do like what they're doing with one side versus the other, but it is definitely one that you might wanna have your console standing up to display both sides. Whereas my current setup, I have to lay my PlayStation down on its side. So that's a little bit unfortunate for me personally, but I'm for sure gonna get the face plates. I'm gonna to try to get the controller. Um, it's very exciting, you know, I, I'm a big Spider-Man guy, if you didn't know that by now, and there's not much else to say other than what other surprises this game will have for us in terms of characters and plot and stories. Um, I'm just excited. And will this have any type of tie-in to the Wolverine game, or will it just be a completely separate thing on its own? Who knows? Um, but I'm excited, and I we're so close to the game. Still got a little bit to go, a couple months more to go. But I'm so excited. So that's my video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace.